Hi everyone, I'm Florette with Ink on 3 and the developer of Fade Out No Line Coloring Detail Ink. It's the only ink on the market that's been specifically designed for no line coloring. And what's really unique about it is the color is a completely neutral color. So it works with warm and cool colors and I have like a little example of that. It's a, here you can see it's very pale and we've used it with warm and cool colors. Most of the time you'd need two different color inks, one for warm, one for cool, but most of your images are gonna have warm and cool colors. So we need one that um, works with both. And the other thing is it makes no line coloring easy so that anybody could do it. And that was one of the reasons I developed it was because I wanted to no line color, but I wanted it to be a little bit easier, more fun, and something that everyone could do. So what's gonna happen is the formulation along with the color is gonna start the process for, for us. So I'm gonna show you when you use it with watercolors, it's gonna basically, the ink lines are gonna become the color that you put on top. Okay, so it works with Copics as well, but this is how it works with watercolors or with, we're using Tombow markers today, which are a water-based marker. You can probably hard to see on camera here, but it's a very pale color. And if your eyesight's a little poor or you can't see as well, or you're doing a YouTube and you want it to show up better on camera, you can stamp it more than once. And that's why it pairs beautifully with the Misty because you can stamp it as many times as you need. And you can see it got a little darker there, but it's not gonna change how the ink performs. So we're gonna take it, I'm gonna show you here without coloring it in as a no-line coloring, but just to show you how the ink changes colors, this is kind of like where the magic happens. This ink is gonna, gonna become what I put on top. So I'm just gonna swipe it over, and all of a sudden, those lines become the purple. Can you see how now it's purple? Isn't that cool? So now I'm going to show you how you can no line color this image really quickly. And it's a super tiny image, which would also be kind of difficult to do because it's so small. I'll make sure I have that flipped to the right side. Right now we're using watercolor paper. Also very important if you're doing watercolors, you want to use the right kind of paper. Or if you're using Copics, you want to use a Copic friendly paper. Or your results are not going to be the same. So we're just going to stamp it once, or maybe I'll stamp it twice because we are on camera, so it's going to be a little harder to see. So I'll stamp it one more time using the Misty. And it's going to be so easy. I'm even going to color this upside down so that you can see the image. So we're going to start with this tiny little bow. Now normally a little bow like that would be really hard to no line color because it's super tiny, right? And it'll take you forever. But with this ink, I can literally just go over the lines and you can see it is doing some of the shading for me. Then I can go to this little tutu and just basically run my marker around and the lines are gonna become that pink color. And in 24 hours, it is gonna even fade back to a little bit lighter than that. But this is how we begin the shading process. I'm gonna leave a little white space, but I'm gonna color that tutu in like that. How easy was that, right? It was super easy. And then I'm just gonna use a blender pen and blend that out to smooth it. And this would be like your first layer. You can take it a little step further and do a lot of shading like we did here. And we did that also, the same process with this unicorn. So we're, gonna, we're just gonna finish this here, but this is where you just keep adding and blending and adding colors. But you can stop, I'm gonna show you, you can just do this if you're afraid of shading, but you really wanna know line color, you can use this ink and get this really pretty pale, look and you can see I'm just literally going and look at that tiny little tail right I'm literally gonna be able to just swipe over it and color it in I'm gonna do a little face like so and I'm gonna leave a little white space in the middle again like we did for a little nice little highlight I'll take our blender pen and blend that out and then we want to get that little face a little bit darker and again if you're taking a pen, you're gonna to try to trace that. It's gonna be really hard, but I'm using this color. It's just gonna literal. I'm just gonna run it right over. It's gonna grab it and do the work for me. I'm gonna then color in her little ears. Maybe give her some cute little cheeks. Blend that out. And then if I wanted to start shading it a little more, and but I could stop there, right? Or give her a little floor 
to stand on. And you can see she's starting to have a little um, scene. But if I want to darken it, I can just come in here and start adding my second layer. If you want to, but you could have stopped where we were before. But I can start adding a little shading, a little darker colors. I can do the same thing over here. And then you can see here how if you keep building, you're going to start getting that dimension. And really that's the gist of how you can start to learn how to no-line color. And if you're someone who already no-line colors but wants the process to be a little bit easier, or just really wants that color to fade away and not have any contamination with the inks or the paints that you put on top, it won't contaminate your colors. That's the big thing about this as well. Isn't that, that was quick, right? <laughs> so you can no line color it and stop there, or like I said, we could continue going and take it to the next level and just keep adding colors and layers on top. And then, so that's with Tombow's here. This is with watercolors. And these little guys down on the bottom we did with Copic markers. So that is the magic of our fade out ink. And you can have a lot of fun with it. And if you're a beginner, you can do it as well. You don't have to be an expert, but if you are an expert, you can enjoy it too because it's going to make your process so much easier and more fun. So thanks for stopping by and checking out Ink on 3. And I'm Florette. Thanks so much. Have fun, guys.